Hello, I'm Ellen Goldberg and welcome to the language of the hand. In this segment we're going to look at how to find the leading mount in a palm, meaning what is the strongest part of the mind influencing the personality. Sometimes it's just one, but often it's a combination of two or three. Mounts are judged in a few different ways. We've looked at their location, and if you notice the video, see this illustration, there is a mount of Jupiter, Saturn, Apollo, and Mercury right along the top ridge under the fingers. Their natural bottom uh, boundary line is clear cut because it's the heart line. Then we have the middle band across the hand, lower Mars right near the thumb, and it's right under the lifeline. And you'll see a visual of a friend of mine who has a very strong lower Mars. This is what it can look like, really full and rich. And upper Mars on the other side in some ways even much more important than Lower Mars, because Upper Mars is the real strength of the archetype and where we would derive the Mars type from. Venus is the ball of the thumb, and there in the lower corner of the palm on the outer edge is the Mount of the Moon. We could define each of these in just a sentence, and I'm gonna give you these, but know that there's going to be a segment on each one of them individually so that we go much deeper into their personality, lifestyle, strengths and weaknesses, etc. all the wonderful things we can know about a person. But Jupiter is about leadership and ambition, spirituality, and about the drive to become the very best, or at least to be in charge. Saturn is about wisdom, sobriety. It has a nickname, the balance wheel of the hand, because it's a repressor, and it keeps all the other mounts with their wonderful different characteristics from becoming overboard and running away with those characteristics. Apollo, which is right under the ring finger, has so much to do with creativity, sales ability, communication, and brightness. It's actually a lucky mount. And Mercury may be belong to the smallest finger, but when that mount is large, it can be very large. In fact, any of these mounts can be large. When a mount is full, and here's how we judge it, we want to see in a way how much real estate is the mount given. In other words, is it given a very nice proportion of size? Next, we want to see how high does the mount rise? I like to look at hands straight up. I don't read them flat. But just to give people a rest from holding their hand up, I let them hold it flat and look at it to get look at lines or shapes but mostly it's wonderful to look at a hand straight on and to see, does a mount impress you with how full it is? Because the, not only the size of the area it's given, but the fullness and the height it attains. To determine the fullness and height, of course you can see it straight on, but it's also very fascinating to look at a hand right at your eye level and just notice how high do these rise? Sometimes when that little mercury mount is strong and you look at it straight on at eye level, you'll see it rises higher than all the other mounts along the top of the ridge.